Well, good morning and welcome to today's kid slot. Now, this morning, you are going to need your thinking cap and you are going to need a sweatband because we are going to be thinking about running. Now, who's good at running? Yes, I thought you probably would be. Okay, before we do some running, we've got to do some warming up, haven't we? So let's have a shake all over. Okay, we ready for running? Great. Now, we've got a special treat this morning as well, because we are going to go live over to a gold medal winning marathon runner. Here we go. Hello, uh, my name's Jeff. I'm a uh, long distance runner. Yeah. First question for you is this. Why is it that feet smell and, and noses run? I mean, isn't, isn't that the wrong way around? Hey. Oh. Okay, okay. Um, could you give us your top running tips? Yes, okay, I've got um, two, two top tips for you. And tip number one is to get rid of everything that's going to make it difficult for you to run a race. I learnt that the hard way. Have a look at this. Tip number two, two, is to stay focused. If you don't know where you're going or what you're doing, you're going to land up in a whole world of trouble. Check this out. Well, some fantastic top tips for running there. But why all this talk about running, I hear you ask? Well, Barney is going to read some verses from the book of Hebrews that talk about running. So, thinking caps on, and let's listen to Barney read the Bible. Hebrews 12, verse 1 to 3. So we have many people of faith around us. Their lives tell us what faith means. So let us run the race that is before us and never give up. We should remove from our lives anything that would get in the way. And we should remove the sin that so easily catches us. Let us look only to Jesus. He is the one who began our faith, and he makes our faith perfect. The book of Hebrews is like one giant sermon about how brilliant Jesus is. And in those verses that Barney just read for us, the writer is telling the Christians that the Christian life is like a race. And he's telling them to keep going and not give up. And did you notice what he said to them? He said, we need to remove all the things that are going to make it difficult for us to run the race. Just like marathon runner Jeff had to do with all those extra clothes and bags that he didn't need. So in those verses Barney read, the writer tells the Christians, get rid of all your sin, all your turning away from God, because that's 
stuff is going to make it hard for you to keep running the race. And remember marathon runner Jeff. When he was a bit confused about where he was going and what it was all about, well, that wasn't very good for his running either. So in those verses, what did the writer to the Hebrews say? He said, we need to fix our eyes on Jesus. Because he's the one who started off our faith and he's the one who's going to make us perfect one day when we get to heaven. Isn't that amazing news? Well, let's pray and ask God to help us as we run the race.